Hi everyone, here is a brief comparative analysis between study in Canada and UK. You're welcome to today's edition where we get to continue from where we stopped last time. My name is Ola of the Oak Ridge Consulting Classroom, a registered Canadian immigration consultant. And we want to con conclude with, um, no, we're not even concluding. We just want to take the part two of our lessons on Centennial College, the process of applying so you can take advantage of the application fee that is zero dollars. Join us as we proceed into the second phase of our lessons. Stay tuned. Welcome. A lot of options here. How then do we marry time with value? You can you can scroll down. Sometimes you can just use the search word. But in this case, because we found it, all we just need to do is to click on it. You can see there is an online option of this same program. But our candidates would want to have come to Canada to have a first-hand information. This brings us to this program. We're going to click on it to understand better and to understand the requirements. One of the things you must do as a potential or prospective candidate for study abroad, either in Canada, America, the um, Australia, New, um, New, um, New Zealand, or even the UK, is to always read through the requirement before you proceed to apply to anything. And before the requirement comes the detail, okay? This is the program itself. These are the details. It's going to be, you know, it's a three semester program. By the time you're graduating, you're getting for yourself an Ontario College graduate certificate from the School of Engineering, Technology and Applied Sciences. Like I mentioned earlier, on, there are different delivery modes right now in class, online, and hybrid. Hybrid is a combination of the online and in class. Some schools call it blended. So there you go. This is um, the program details at a glance. And um, we move on to the availability. Uh, Mr. O was asking us before if um, he can actually put in application and fast track, fast track it for May. You could see that the, still, the school is still open for January 2022. International availability, yes, for 2022 January, but however, due to the time frame you need to process your study permit application, we're not going to recommend January 2022 because it is too close a time to process admission as well as study permit. So May 2022 as well as September is a great option. You can see that's the availability. They have availability up until May of 2023. This school I, right here, I say they're forward looking, okay? And this is the overview of the program. Now you can take your mind briefly back to our case study, Mr. O, who actually had been in building technology field and have had 13 plus years of experience. Building technology, just for the for the benefit of those who does not know, for the business of for the benefit of those who, for those who do not know. Wow, 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 wow. I'm sorry about that. For the benefit of those who do not know, is actually a, a program, a career that is related to construction project management. Because building technology, we have one or two things to do with construction of a home, drainages, and what have you. So this person is the right candidate, in my, in my opinion. Again, decision to offer admission lies with Centennial College. However, from all indication, from all experience, because I also, I worked in a, uh, civil engineering and construction company then as an HR um, officer. And I know in the course of recruiting clients, there are some um, there are some skills that are, that are usually required, which I know that a building con con construction engineer or a, a building technologist also can fit into the role of a construction um, expert. So now enough of um, that, let's go on to what courses they are likely to be offering. You can see construction management, management of construction projects, project delivery methods, occupational health, safety, security, business principles, construction methods. And we can just um, 
take a closer look at what that offers right and on average lecture hours is three per week you know so these are the things they're going to learn you know a lot so the program itself i think it's is a robust program for anyone interested in you know applying or enrolling in this program so let's go back to where we are coming from okay we see we now come back to the career options and education pathways okay because this is very important it also helps you it also prepares your mind when you are explaining the reason why you want to study in canada at the face of your study permit application here at Oak Ridge consulting we are always forward looking we try as much as possible to ensure that we are building you know we're, we're, we're helping you broaden your scope we want to help you to broaden your scope so that you're not just thinking of applying to school now you're also thinking of application to school as well as preparation and readiness towards applying for your study permit because the distance between when you submit your application to school and when you get a result is always too short before you see jack robinson your admission letter has dropped on your laps and you need to move towards applying for study permit so for me it's always good to just think about both as you try to apply so let the process go simultaneously so look at this right now they're telling us that um the program highlights is going to be focusing on emphasis on domestic and international sustainability in green building right so this person is in the field of building project management so for me he is a ripe candidate for this program let's go straight to the juicy path the career outlook you can see this person has been a project manager there is no way he won't have something to talk about when it comes to like writing a statement of purpose why he wants to come study and badge a degree or a diploma in construction project management education pathways so graduates who are successful here will be able to apply their credit towards further study at degree level that is if they are interested they could also even partner with institutions that give professional certification okay so quite an interesting uh program you can see there the person can even get a master's of business administration from Darwin Perth Davenport University. This is amazing. So you can see accreditation also, areas of employment. This is the juicy part that you really, really need to explore. We can look through this video briefly to understand something. After graduating, I wanted to move towards management aspect of the construction industry, which is the construction management that is called the arts of managing the construction project. It was a good choice for me. I moved here and, and I got to learn a lot. Construction management is a post diploma certificate program. It's three semesters long and one year in duration. We have a few students actually that have come through the architectural technologist program and come into the construction management program. So really students that are interested in pursuing a career uh, more in construction as a hands-on construction person rather than a design person uh, would be a great fit for this program. We are exposed to the whole construction business here. Yeah. It's really helpful for an international student and whoever is not familiar with construction business here. Really, really helpful. Construction management is, um, in terms of a field that you have um, educational background in, is rather new. As the construction industry has gotten more sophisticated over the years, we've really come to see a need for more educational background and training of people that would be basically taking the front roles in a uh, construction industry in terms of uh, coordinating trades, going out to tenders, getting bids, uh, coordinating the project in the office. So really that's what our program focuses on, educating them to have a background to get into a managerial position in the construction industry. With the help of this course, which is um, we're studying right now, and uh, give me a better understanding and a fully comprehension about the whole business.
from development from the, the initial stage to construction stage and uh, to the final operating and occupancy stage. So we felt that there was a need to have a more condensed and, and comprehensive program available to, to students that they could come take a consecutive three semester, one year program and then have all of those skills developed and more so than, than what they could get in the industry currently. Anyways, for more updates, you can go on their website and um, watch all that you need to know. So there are a lot of things here. And Centennial College has been one of, um, you know, leading schools in terms of research in Ontario. So a um, lot of benefits, a lot of opportunities. Now we come to the real thing that will determine if, you are, if we have a fit for this program. Academic requirement. So you need to have a three-year college diploma, which Mr. Ho already has. He has four years um, um, diploma, right? Two plus two equals to four. English language proficiency. In um, people from Nigeria, in most cases, are usually um, given the opportunity for a waiver because English happens to be the language of instruction. So let's click on this and see if this is true for us or not. All courses are taught in English according to the college and success in our program Thank you for your understanding. The next video shall be loaded soon. And I'm sure Mr. O has this um, experience because he's a 13 years, uh, he's been in uh, professional experience for 13 years. And our language of instruction, communication, and dialogue remains English in Nigeria. So I think he is a fit for, for this. Okay. So let's see how. We go from here as we go back to understanding um, what else we need to know here. The next one is um and this is the end of the part two. We hope you've learned something. Subscribe so that you know when we load the concluding part. Stay safe, thank you.